Good morning, everybody. Look who wants to participate today. <laughs> so cute. So uh, today's topic um, is about why we attract people and events. And usually we like and choose them subconsciously, like right? That are not very good for us. Probably all of us have been in those, uh, well, here we go. That's an example. <laughs> why do I love her sometimes? I wonder. Uh, anyway, so why... Uh, sometimes we uh, probably all of us can relate to different relationships, right? We know this is the wrong person and we just feel this powerful attraction for them. Or we know that there are certain projects or events that we should not be going to or should not be dealing with, but we still are um, kind of attracted to them and we like them despite whatever your mom says, whatever your friends say. Uh, and uh, we really want to get rid of this kind of uh, liking and attraction, but we can't. So there is actually um, a research, um, great research. It's called uh, Love on Suspension Bridge. There was a study uh, done by Donald Dutton and uh, Arthur Aaron in, back in 1974. And the experiment was really cool. Uh, in British Columbia, there were two suspension bridges. One was uh, a very high suspension bridge. It was five feet wide, uh, like, I don't know, 450 uh, feet long, and was made of, like, wooden boards and attached to the <laughs> wire cables. And when you walk, everything is shaking. And then the other one was very safe. It was only, like, 10 feet um, above uh, the water. And it was very kind of solid, um, nice um, bridge. And the experiment was that whenever a male was crossing um, the bridge, an attractive female um, researcher approached the male and asked him to, you know, introduce herself as a researcher and told him that we have an experiment and ask him to describe a picture um, while standing on the bridge. And what researchers found is that after that experiment, the ladies who approached the men, and they were all beautiful, you know, on the same bridge, the same ladies, uh, but the ma uh, females who approached male males on the higher suspension bridge, you know, the shaky one, uh, got phone numbers from them, uh, had the follow-up calls, were invited to dates, and also the um, description of the picture had more sexual kind of connotations and uh, uh, much more uh, profound description in it. How cool is that, right? So subconsciously, what happened is that because of the profound fear of, you know, feeling of fear, the participants of the research, the males, right? They substituted it for arousal. They thought that they were attracted to the lady. So that's what happens with us. Very often, especially in our society, um, especially in American society, um, we're not allowed to express strong feelings. So we kind of learn to live in the um, very neutral feeling world. So whenever we start having uh, feelings that we cannot control, like fear, anger, uh, something, curiosity, right? Uh, based on something dangerous, right? Danger, danger, danger. We um, experience that strong uh, emotion that our soul actually craves. And that's how we subconsciously like those people who can bring that emotion in us. We like those circumstances, put ourselves in those events and environment which have some danger in us. So the reason for that, so we can feel alive, right? Because only next to the death threatening experience, and it doesn't have to be death threatening, but you understand something dangerous, that's something that sends the impulse to our brain that this is dangerous, it's not safe for me. Only in those environments, many of us really experience true living. So the key here is how do we get rid of this pattern? Because of course, obviously, even though it provokes that emotion, it's not really good for us, right? So how do we get rid of this? And I see that all the time with my coaching practices that people come and they um, are so afraid to feel the negative that they will cover it and distract themselves with anything. And then with that, they kill a part of their soul. 
okay? So the key to that is actually expressing all of your emotions, is actually writing down things that come to mind. Why do you feel this way? If you have anger, express it, but find the ways that you express it productively. If you have fear, acknowledge it, right? So first of all, is acknowledging. Sometimes it's really hard, right? And secondly, expressing it and finding the tools that um, help you express it in a healthy way. And really becoming that emotional being in a good way, because then you don't have to substitute those intense emotions for something that is not real and find them in people who are not good for you or in the situations that are not good for you. So I hope that this kind of um, provokes some thought today. Uh, if you want to download my ebook and audiobook uh, that deals with actually a lot with how we show up in any type of relationship. So this book is not about really romantic relationship per se. It's more about how you show up to the world and how what you are projecting to the world is uh, showing up in any different relationships in your life. So I gave you the link um, in the comments. And if you like it, please like and uh, send me messages. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful Monday. Stay out of trouble. Experience the life to the fullest so you don't have to feel danger in order uh, to feel attraction. And happy vibes, happy lives.